Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, Kiriyama Sparta here with a, uh, a different kind of video. I, I did get the one question on my uh, on the uh, new 52 Catwoman Cover Girl statue review. Uh, I should compare the uh, the two, the uh, new 52 to the uh, to the classic one, if you would. And I thought, you know what? That's actually uh, it's actually a pretty good idea. So uh, definitely going to go through all my Gotham City sirens, but. I figured uh, since he asked so nicely, uh, I'll start off with the Catwoman here. Uh, so, uh, still got the packaging too, so I figured may as well compare that as well. Um, <clears throat> myself, personally, if I was going to pick one to be better, uh, classic. It just, it, it, it pops a lot more. Uh, I mean, the new aesthetic one with all the white and everything, it's okay. But uh, th this is the good packaging, I think. It's got... A very nice full shot of the statue cover girls in big yellow I mean that just really I don't know <laughs> to me it's I, I just think this is better plus I also like how they uh, give you like the full artwork shot of it uh, there's there's no shot of the artwork it's based on in the new ones here and I'm not a fan of that plus I like just a shot of the full statues the other ones you can buy unlike this one which just kind of does the uh, there's their face. You, you don't know what the actual statue looks like, but that's that's the face. So uh, yeah, definitely recommend uh, as far as the uh, packaging goes. Uh, definitely winner, <laughs> classic. Uh, so I'll get them here side by side, and we'll take a look at both the statues. And there we go. We got them out of the package there. So. Time to compare old versus new. Uh, so I guess, first of all, we'll start off with the sculpts. Uh, obviously they're a bit different, uh, considering the uh, classic line kind of went with a very just single pose on a normal base. And the uh, new 52s, obviously, they used a more designing base here. Uh, like with the new Catwoman, she's on, clearly that's one of those corners off the side of a building. And she's got a cat next to her. Uh, which, you know, it works. It works, but... Yeah, I don't know. I prefer this as far as the pose goes. I mean, this is a lot more dramatic. It's a lot more, you know, she's been caught in the act. She's, you know, jumping from a building, what have you. But I don't know. Something about just the sassy standing there giving you the eye. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it might be just me, but I, I like the classic one. Uh, better as far as the pose goes. I just think it works better. Uh, they are both still sculpted very nicely. Um, now, of course, now we'd have to compare the paint and everything. And I, I, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but once again, I think the classic has the uh, new one beaten. As far as details go, everything is painted a lot. You know, not to say that the new 52 one is done badly, but this one is done better. Uh, the lines and everything for her suit, the silver for the zipper on her belt buckle, uh, even the red for her goggles. It's all done very well. I don't see any bleeding, uh, at least on mine anyway. And I don't know. Uh, they're both done with that kind of vinyl paint to make it shine. But it seems a lot shinier on the classic statue. But we'll still get the, get the new 52 on here. <laughs> this thing will ever focus. There we go. Uh, there's some bleeding on the colors, uh, her zipper as well. Uh, the worst, I still think, it still kind of bugs me. I think I mentioned this in the review, is she's got her little kitty backpack here, and it's done nicely, but all the jewels hanging on the inside, there's like just a bit of silver and some gray. It doesn't look too good. Uh, it doesn't look, I don't know. It's not done too well, in my opinion, but... Uh, not as well as the other one. I'm not saying it's all bad. Like I said, this is still a very nice statue. Uh, very well done. Uh, and I do like the fact that they still kept it where her whip is still her, uh, her cattail there. And here it's actually made uh, out of kind of an odd fabric for the new statue. Uh, it's, it's a lot bendable. It feels like rope. I almost want to say like they used a, uh, a shoestring. Um, and you know what? They might have. Anywho, like I said, with the older one, uh, she also had her own little tail done with her uh, with her whip. Just turn her a bit. Um, it's a very hard plastic, uh, but it worked. It worked very well. 
Um, but yeah, if I'm going to compare the two, it is the uh, <laughs> it's the classic one that wins, uh, hands down. They're both very well done. They're both very good statues, but yeah, yeah, it's just classic Catwoman that wins. I think in this one, it's. It's just a better statue. It's also a little bit cheaper, uh, at least at the time when I bought it, and the old ones were a limited edition. Uh, you know, you got your nice little card of, you know, this is how many you got out of, I think Catwoman was the 9,000? No, she was 5,000. Sorry, she was really, really rare. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's my comparison video for those two. Uh, both very well done, but if I'm gonna pick a winner, Classic Beats New 52. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, once again, this has been Kiriyama Sparta. If you had a good time here, please hit that like or subscribe button, comment. If you like these, uh, let me know. I'm definitely going to tackle Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy next. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that. Have a good one, YouTube.